the big one is coming on September 5th. Uh, that that's actually our biggest production. Uh, this is uh, Vijay's movie called Greatest of All Times. Uh, Goat. So I think, and I'm not seeing this replicating in other languages. And this is just academic interest. Uh, in most of the other cases, sometimes when you go for the big stars, you really are taking a hell of a lot of risk. Not so much in this industry. So if you go with a big star, yes, budgets are high. You pay quite a bit. But most often than not, you your profit is realized on the table. Uh, chances of failure are extremely little to zero. Which is, uh, you know, which is contrary when people talk about the industry. Where typically about 10% of the movies succeed very well, you know, 15-20% break even, make something, most of the others lose money. Uh, in Tamil, if you go with the top actors, generally you are guaranteed success. Of course, you should have access to money. You should be able to get your production going on time, on schedule and get it released clean. And, you know, the type of returns that you can get in this industry, typically your peak investment is only 60-65 because you actually start collecting advances which gets rolled into this. And if you are making, let's say, a 35% profit on a 100, effectively you are making a 35% profit on a 65 rupee investment. That's like 50% and most movies get done in 12 months. Which industry gives a 50% return on investment in one year? I mean, anybody else in any of the other industries, like manufacturing, which typically works on a single digit pat, the mature manufacturing industries, 50% all this is unheard of, right? So, sometimes what happens in this industry, I've seen people who, are, who think, who are greedy, they don't take it, they think it's too low. But if you look at the other industries, this is unheard of numbers. And with the big stars, we are seeing it happen. See, on the big budgets, actually the risk factor is not there. So we take key man insurance for all our movies. So we take enough insurance to protect ourselves against almost any exigence. Let's say there is a big cyclone that comes and shut down for two months, three months, we are protected by insurance. Uh, or there is a political turmoil or a terrorist attack or something happens, we are protected. So we ensure we take all types of insurance. And what that also means when you take insurance, you have to do it by the book. So, you know, we keep squeaky clean accounts audited by a big four. So, the for it's public. So, it's uh, over 300 crores. One of the biggest this is our biggest. Okay. This is our biggest. And uh, uh, it will also be one of our most profitable. When is the date? September 5th. Uh, no, the other one I think which is great on. I think we will, it will be one of uh, profitable one. We are doing one with Pradeep. Pradeep Ranganathan. You know, we did love story before. Yeah, love story. This is the second one we are doing with him. Different movie. Perfect. Very similar genre, but a different movie. Uh, as usual, hilarious and very, very contextual. Oh, that, that love story was, I think it was mind blowing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, first time we saw, we couldn't stop laughing ourselves. <laughs> so we are doing that in Hindi. Oh, Hindi. Okay. Along with Phantom. Uh, we're doing it in Hindi. So, Amir Khan's son and Janvi Kapoor's daughter, uh, her sister. So, both of them are right. How many, uh, you have any time, in the kind of, you will say, do one movie a year, two movies a year, or is it like project based? Generally, about, there are a couple of movies that are always running couple of movies that are always running. So this come to an end, you know, production has commenced. Okay. Puja has been put, so work has started on the next one. Mm -hmm. I think that was, came as a surprise to everybody. I think it was also because if you notice, 
I think this is probably the first time, you know, in a normal situation, not COVID, normal situation. April to June, July is the peak month for movie releases. Because it's a summer, all schools are closed, all colleges are closed, everybody is free and they hit movie halls. And so a lot of big movies come. If you really look at the last two, three months, you know, there's not been a big release. I mean, the Manjumel Boys became a big success. And then, of course, you had this Avesam that, you know, became a big success. And, you know, some small movies just surprisingly, you know, hitting it big. Is also because the screens have no big movies. I think Pushpa 2 is coming on August 14th. Otherwise, there's nothing. No lineup. Which is very surprising. Summer is when... You know, it's very tough to get a release date because everybody is crowded. April 14th, April 28th, May 15th, everybody takes a slot. It's just vacant. Is it an impact on OTT because of that as well? Does it have an impact on this? I don't think so because I'm not seeing any big ones on OTTOs. You know, if, it, if the OTTs have been seeing some big releases, that's fine. But they're also nothing. You know, I, I don't know, maybe, you know, everybody got their production schedule all mixed up. So everybody missed the summer. Because, you know, I think even Rajinikanth's film, I think he's slotted for Diwali. Diwali. 